God bless you my precious brothers and sisters greetings to you all in the wonderful and unchangeable name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we are so glad this morning to be associated with such wonderful people and just to know that it's a group of believers that is praying for one another that is really a tremendous blessing dierbare broers en sisters dit is 'n groot voorreg om te weet dat daar is 'n groep mense daar buitekant wat vir mekaar bid en ek dink vanoggend dit is die deurslaggewende gevoel eh vanoggend dat daar is broers en sisters kinders van die Here wat uh, bereid is om tyd af te knyp om vir hulle mede broers en hulle mede susters te bid. We are so grateful and so thankful for each one of you this morning. And I want to salute you my brothers and sisters for taking time off to pray with us and to pray for our brothers and sisters out there. Let's pray this morning. Heavenly Father, as we are about to read some of these prayer requests. Father, there is one thing that we know. Father, that there are families out there that have different needs, different desires. They have different situations. Lord, Father, the least that we can do this morning as a group of believers around the globe wherever my voice will utter lord father i want to thank you this morning for this group of believers wonderful people of god that are willing to take a moment to pray for their fellow brothers and their fellow sisters that's the least that we can do this morning father i pray o oh god in jesus name that you come o oh god and strengthen us strengthen each family this morning father we believe this morning that all things are possible to them that believe you deserve all the glory and all the praises Bless this few moments in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank you Lord for everything that you have done. Amen. Now my brothers and sisters, we have a few prayer requests this morning. I'm so thankful for each one of these prayer requests. And I want you to take courage all my brothers and sisters some of these prayer requests are not even for themselves but it's on behalf of a friend a colleague a brother or a sister there is the attitude that we have spoken about these last few days a positive attitude produce positive results Remember we said yesterday that a positive the effects of a positive attitude one of those attributes is to identify the needs of your fellow brothers and sisters is to positively influence your fellow brother and your fellow sister and how wonderful it is to know that there's a group of believers that are positive out there they are ready to express that kind of attribute in 2022 remember brothers and sisters the devil is not happy he is not a man he's not a guy that loves to be positive he likes to break down 
anything that is beautiful and precious he started right in the garden of eden and i want to say this morning regardless of what happens and how things is around us i want us to remain positive always have a positive influence upon somebody else remember we said yesterday that a negative one of the effects some of the effects of a negative attitude it can influence negatively it can influence negatively it can have a negative impact upon your marriage upon your finance upon your relationships upon your health and upon your christian walk it can have a negative impact upon those different areas so that is nearly moet te werd it's not worth it earlier to try and remain negative it will have a tremendous impact upon all those different areas may god help us this morning to get in the channel it's 2022 and i believe strongly believe that god has something special in store for us this year so whatever we need let's take it to the lord in prayer i have some prayer requests i would love and appreciate you to pray with us and if it's possible try to send it to a friend to a family that they can pray with us and remember to always send in those prayer requests there is a group of believers out there they are ready to pray for you this comes from namibia please pray for my entire life and my son my situation is situation at work is very bad surrounded by the enemies distance can never be a problem brothers and sisters please pray for my son that's waiting on his matric results that he will do well and that god's favor will be on him last year was a very difficult year for us but god's grace kept us and that god must open up my husband's eyes the woman is having an affair what is destroying his life thank you for all the prayers good good god bless you brothers please pray for my daughter who has a problem with eyes my husband has pain that moves around in his body let's pray for that family too God bless you saints please pray for my mother of 78 years old she's very sick the past months doctors cannot find out what exactly is wrong with her God bless you saints please pray for my daughter of 16 years old she's suffering with depression and anxiety I want us to pray for all these prayer requests but especially for the 16 year old depression is a demon brothers and sisters it can destroy family it destroys marriages it can destroy the individual it can even break up a church that is the that is the power of this demon of depression let's seriously pray for this young girl that god will deliver her from this demon of depression shalom saints my son submitted his cv to apply for a job we ask for our for your prayers that the lord will provide him a job he still answering prayer and i'm so glad for this positive attitude of our precious sister here that she can put in this request and at the end that she can always that she can say 
that God is still answering prayers. What a positive, positive approach, a positive attitude. Let's go to Germany now. Please remember me in prayer, brothers and sisters. I am in hospital with severe depression. Let's pray for our precious brother. God bless you, saints. Please keep Brother Colin and his family in your prayers who have lost a, a wife, a mother. Let's pray for that family, that God will strengthen them at this very moment of bereavement. Last but not the least, this comes from a precious sister from Bloemfontein. She's sending in this prayer request on behalf of one of her colleagues. She also said it's a supplier. Body of Christ, please pray for me for a financial breakthrough. God bless you, my precious sister, for sending in this request on behalf of your friend. I want every brother and sister now, families, wherever you are this morning, just join in prayer. Just take hands. I have my wife here with me this morning. Whoever you have around you in your office, if you're driving and you're listening to the devotion, if it's safe where you are, just pull off, just close your eyes, just spend one or two moments and pray with us. This is a serious, a serious matter. Remember, it's 2022 and the devil is not going to stop. He, he, he has unfinished business and we have to continue praying for one another and we cannot stop it or relax we have to it's like the prophet says we are not on a picnic but we are on a battlefield and i want every prayer warrior this morning to pray for these requests and for all those unspoken needs there are people out there some are shy some are not strong enough to send in their prayer requests. But let's take all these requests to the Lord this morning. Father, in the wonderful name of Jesus, I am so glad this morning as your servant that you have given us the strength, the ability, Lord, to be able to wake up this morning to witness the rising of the sun. And Father, as the sun is rising out there, Lord, the day is breaking, the birds are singing, animal life is moving, O oh God. Father, this morning we are so glad and thankful, Lord Jesus, for such a wonderful privilege like this one. Father, here is all these prayer requests. I am not alone in this this morning. But Father, you have given me a group of believers globally, Father, in Africa, in Europe, in America, in New Zealand, in Australia, Father, in India, in Venezuela, all over the world. Father, at least there's one or two people, Father, that receives this devotion, Father. And Lord, it is so grateful to know that these believers are praying, Father. Lord, as we are coming before you, taking these prayer requests, believing, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, even before we could take up these requests, you know about them all, Father. I pray this morning, O oh God, for a wonderful and for a mighty outpouring of thy spirit. Father, may you come, O oh God, with the healing wings this morning. Move from heart to heart, life to life, family to family, Father, country to country, Father. Lord, all these prayer requests, we bring them before you, Lord, Believing, O oh God, that you have already done the work, Father, and very soon we will receive these wonderful testimonies of the goodness of God and what God has done, Father. 
bless each and every one this morning that are partaking in this prayer request in their own time father bless all the unspoken needs father bless all the families bless the entire bride of god if there be any family this morning that are in need father i pray and pronounce the blessings of god upon their lives if there be any backsliders son the lord somebody that doesn't know which way to go father i pray that you direct their ways and father may they look up this morning to calvary father as we commit all this in the wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ believing father that you are still the same jehovah and that we can put our trust in you this morning father bless us now as we commit all these requests yes lord just before you and we bring them before your throne this morning in the wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ we love you this morning we appreciate you father for answering all these prayer requests and even the unspoken needs in jesus name amen and amen